Hello friends, this is Tushar Gupta welcoming you to Learn Easy. Today's video is based on the derivation of kinetic energy. So let's start the derivation. First of all, we are to draw the diagram for the derivation. Let's consider a ball or a body of mass m initially at rest. So the initial velocity would be zero. It covers a distance s on the application of a force f by acquiring a final velocity v so let's write the situation let's consider a body of mass m initially at rest moving a distance s on the application of a force f by acquiring final velocity v so now the alphabets, the constants, I mean the variables that you are to let are let. You have to write let and then initial velocity is equal to u is equal to 0 because the body is at rest. Final velocity is equal to v. distance or displacement is equal to s force is equal to f Velo uh, sorry acceleration is equal to a mass is equal to m work done is equal to w and the kinetic energy is equal to k dot e dot we have a formula for work that is work is force multiplied by the distance now we would be putting the variables in this formula we would be having w is equal to f into s this being our first equation of this derivation now also oh sorry and from Newton's second law second law of motion we have that force is equal to mass into acceleration putting the variables into it we have that force is equal to m into a this being our second equation fine now we have the third equation of motion from third equation of motion that is v square minus u square is equal to 2s 2as we have that s is equal to v square minus u square upon 2a since u is equal to 0 u square is equal to 0 square is equal to 0 that implies that s is equal to v square upon 2a because in uh, when we subtract 0 from anything the remain the number remains same so s is equal to v square upon 2a this being the third equation put or putting 3 and 2 in 1 we have that w is equal to m into a whole multiplied by v square upon 2a a and a cancel out with each other because they are same we would be left behind with w is equal to m v square by 2 now we can write 4 upon 2 as 1 half of fourth fine so this would be 
W is equal to half of mv square. Can, can't we write this? We can, of course, we can. So, W is equal to half mv square. Fine. Since this work is used to, since work is used to, sorry, since this work is used to move the body, Therefore, work done is equal to kinetic energy. That implies that W is equal to K dot E dot. Fine. That implies that kinetic energy is equal to half m v square. This is the formula for the kinetic energy that we would be using for our numericals thank you please like and subscribe my channel